and you can get ready to hear what the Divine Masculine wants to tell you. And the first message is probably because I pulled this out, is that I see you. Um, your person actually sees just how much you're loving yourself and how much you're doing for yourself. And they are becoming even more attracted to you. This person is most likely watching you or watching tarot readings or looking at astrological uh, newspaper articles to see what they have to say about you because this person wants to understand more about this connection that you guys share. You may be dealing with someone who has some gray hair and you may be dealing with someone who's just very wise and mature. And what I'm getting with the new love is that you came in this person's life and you turned this person's life around. For many of you, what I'm getting a message is that you were nothing alike or there's a huge difference, whether it be financially, um, but it doesn't matter. I'm hearing your person say you have a good heart, you have a good soul. And this is what attracted them to you. They knew right away that there was a special connection. For many of you, this person was very um, aggressive and upfront in the beginning as towards how they felt or that they were attracted to you, um, that they had romantic feelings for you because you heightened this person's uh, sexuality when they first met you, right? Like you got them... Very worked up is the best way to put it. So let's see what else we here. Okay, a card coming out. Interesting. Lack of control issues. So there's something here where this person, this is normally about allowing a situation to unfold naturally, but I almost feel like this person didn't do that. They tried to control things. And the reason being is because you were so different than what they're used to. I'm hearing like your person say, and they're saying it apologetically that they were embarrassed at first. Um, there's something about they were embarrassed. Maybe they met you through a friend and there was just something that they did not expect to fall for you or for someone like you. I do notice in this card, this woman is kind of wearing rags. Okay. So maybe you didn't have the best of things when you first met this person. Maybe you were going through a transitional period. I know a lot of people once meeting their divine masculine, their twin flame, their lives changed and they did come out of like, you know, from rags to riches. Maybe you're not in the rich stage yet, but you're moving towards there. Okay. So don't you worry. <laughs> I'm like defending you to your person, but I don't need to. Your person is not being judgmental at all. They're being honest. So let's see. Playfulness. Um, what your person why your person realized they are so into you. One of the reasons they realized this is because there may have been a time when they pulled away or maybe in front of you they flirted with someone else. Um, so basically I'm seeing the unrequited love stick out. But you didn't flinch with that. You were still always there. You were still always um allowing, you know, your youthful spirit to shine. You were still always trying to recapture the moment and the romance and not lose it, no matter what happened. It's like you saw past this person's childish, childish behaviors and you didn't want to allow this to diminish the relationship. So you were always just full of love. And I get that you were very thankful for this person coming into your life. I do feel like when this person came into your life, even if you weren't rags, I just feel like it. you grew. So you actually do appreciate this person no matter what, okay? And that's why. But what happened here with that is that they realized that they can trust you. And the realization that they can trust you to them um, 
it projects to being true love. You know? So what I'm saying is your person says it's hard for them to trust anyone. And I'm hearing that this person was doing what they were doing. It was like a subconscious test. Like they didn't or wouldn't necessarily go out to do these things, but it's like they were trying to push you away and you passed the test. You always held on. You always saw the best in them and they realized that they could trust you and that you were their true love. Okay, the more they got to know you, the more that they came to this realization. So let's see what else your person wants to tell you. What a beautiful message so far, right? Wow. So it says this situation involves a marriage. And I actually do feel that that is exactly what they want to tell you. I believe that they want to tell you in their past, they did get tied up in a situation. Um, so they're leaving it at that for now. And I'm hearing to move on. Okay, so you may have met this person while they're in a marriage, but we'll move on. I'm sure more will come out about this. Yeah. And when they met you, um, there was just this realization you have had a past life together. So for many of you, you actually knew right away. Um, I'll tell you, I can relate to that for sure. When I first saw my person, I thought I knew him. I, I was just like, you know, I, I know you. And maybe some of you had the same experience. Maybe you said, well, don't I know you from somewhere? Like, yes, I do. Like, yes, where did you grow up? Type of a thing. Um. But when this person did, there was an attraction that they could not deny. And it is because you have known each other before. You are soulmates. You are twin flames. You are soul flames. You are that heavy connection. But the problem is here, like, I keep on noticing this masculine face. And it's like, shoot, what have I got myself into here in the wedding card? Take a look at that face. Can you see it? It's extremely, extremely worrisome, you know? I don't want to dig into that because this is your bedtime message, but I just want to let you know, like, this person made a mistake with the person they married, okay? Maybe someone got pregnant. Maybe someone got pregnant, and that's why... Um, this person, I also have the message that very shortly after this person got into this commitment, they very quickly wanted to leave. They very quickly knew that they made a mistake. Um, and in fact, for some, they knew as soon as they got engaged, but there was family, in top, their fa I don't know what I was about to say there. There was family ties of some sort that were very strong and so this person went through with keeping their word and marrying a very young person is what i get as well they married someone younger than them for many of them or at least emotionally immature this person that they married um it's like it was their dream to be married so that's kind of all they wanted, right? But I do feel that this person did have admiration. So the younger person in the marriage, they did have admiration to marry this person. Like they were very happy to marry it. They did this person. They felt very special, but they were very innocent and young. And I don't think, you know, either parties were in it for the right reason, <clears throat> Unfortunately, the masculine here I see no knew this, um, and it looks like their throat chakras got tied up because there's literally a bow tie around the neck, and it doesn't even look like a typical bow tie. It's huge. They were tied up. That's what happened. Okay. So what other messages would your person like to share with you?
it's really interesting because your person intuitively knows that they do have to make a sacrifice to be with you. Um, they also want to. They don't want to leave you in the mud anymore. They don't want you to think that you're not worthy of true love or of good love, of real love, like of a healthy love. They, This person knows, and this may be a recent revelation. In other words, they may notice you're walking away. They may notice you're turning their back on them. They may notice you're getting more confident. Um, they just know you're not going to stick around for this for very long because you are like an angel, and right now you are in the mud, technically. like You're not in your full element, and it does have to do with you waiting on this person. Um, so like a side note, low key, you'd probably want to start moving on. You're not meant to be in the mud. You're not meant to, if it doesn't feel good. And I don't think that that would ruin anything. If anything, I think that they, this would make this person move a bit faster because the message I just heard is I'm moving as fast as I can. So whatever your person is doing, they do feel like they're making the best effort they can. They're very aware that they may lose you in the process. And they are too, I mean, I have my eyes getting a little watery right now because this person is very aware that they are too selfish to tell you that. So in a sense, they're taking a risk. Um, they're trying to do as much as they can. I see slowly and surely your wings are diminishing. Like there, it's not nothing wrong. Like you're not going to lose your angelic soul. Okay, divine feminines. But I just see I'm getting the word tarnished, tethered, tired, tears. You're not going to, you're ready to say goodbye. It's not a rushed energy either. It's just you're very aware that even you staying stuck is going back to what you've come out of. And your person is very aware of this as well. So your person is aware that they may lose you if they do not get out of this energy. Emotional withdrawal in reverse. Okay. Yeah, it's just the same card that was at the bottom. Um, they're very aware they have to take these steps. This is going from 12 to 13 in the same energy, the dark energy here, the black energy here. And this is about a transformation. And I'm actually hearing your person is saying, I'm sorry, I'm so stubborn. I'm sorry, I'm so stubborn. I'm sorry I do things on my own time. Um, your person feels like you may actually go through this transformation and just break free. So that's interesting. I'm hearing I understand, like your person understands, especially now that you know this truth, you know? I hear a message, I too want to break free. That's what your person's saying. I too want to break free. But it looks like your person has so many different categories they are dealing with right now. This is tower energy, by the way. It's like they're hanging on to the bitter end. Because, you know, we have all the different categories here. Money, marriage, family, and the air could be anything. Put it in the comments below if you don't mind. Let me know what the clouds in the air, you know, could be mental. And even let me know what you think of the plant. I'm picking up family. Um, but this person has so many. It's like, which one do I choose? And you know what I just heard your person contemplate? Like, which one do I destroy today? And I don't think that your person goes out meaning to destroy anything. But I think your person cannot keep up with all the demands from all the different categories in their life. So they continually always have to let someone down. It's not just you. It's probably 
actually like you may be in separation from your person you know these are other people that this person has to let down as well because they cannot keep up the demands so it could be like oh let's meet for a business meeting let's go and talk about you know our our business plans and this person says no i can't today i got to go do this and the family says hey dad uncle can you come and help me he's like i can't today i got to go do this this person constantly has things and it doesn't feel good. I feel really, um, the one thing that's nice is though the divine feminine may not be, you know, exactly in your best element, right? Because you belong in heaven. <laughs> you know what I mean? You belong in, in, you're just so beautiful energy, right? Um, but at least you're not in this energy, you know? Whoever is in this energy is literally stuck and suffering every day. And I'm not going to say they don't choose to, but it's like they've built these, they built this for themselves. They've almost buried themselves. Like they bear, they dug their, their shallow grave and buried themselves in there, you know, like they could kind of get out, but it's not going to happen easy. This person has built a lot. And I'm not saying the feminine hasn't, but I'm saying the feminine is handling this much better. You know you're not stuck here. You know if you actually want to go, you can do it tomorrow. You can do it yesterday. And you know you would have the whole world ahead of you. You have like everything that you want in the palm of your hand. But you do still have your energy attached to this connection because you're very hopeful. You're very optimistic. You're very encouraging. But you're also very aware that one day you may have to go. You may be called to be somewhere else. And I believe your person sees this in you. Look at that. Wow. So it is literally what I was just saying. For some of you, you actually do feel already like you are meant to go for your wish. You are meant to go um, to go for something else. For some of you, you want a pregnancy. Like, I'll just show you the way the cards are facing me there. That's how I read cards. So I'm going to tell you what I'm picking up here. For some of you, this is going to be a lot of different messages right now. Some of you have got a job offer or some sort of an offer elsewhere. And right now you're kind of in pause mode, smelling the roses where you are and making this decision and taking your time to make this decision you have an extremely strong connection with this person that is undescribable. It is like, it's almost like um, a world, what are they called? You know, there's all these places in the world people want to go and see these specific places because they're so special. This is kind of what you have with this person energetically. It's a treasure. But you have played the waiting game for quite some time. The waiting card is sticking out, which is the Empress, which, sorry, that's below it. Um, here, I'll show you the waiting game. Just going in circles, right? Going in circles. And for some of you, like I said, with the Empress energy here, you, you want either a child or you want a family or, you know, you want something to grow. You do not want to be in the mud. And please don't take offense in any way about that muddy energy. It's just reference to you not being in your full element, even though you are your angelic self. It's like, you know, there's so many stories like that, like where someone came from a really, really bad neighborhood or something like that. And they were always like this beautiful energy, but they had to get out of that neighborhood. And people may be like, oh, you changed. Well, yeah. Yes, you had to. 
because you wanted this. You wanted more. And if you continue staying in less, you are telling the universe that you do not want what you're asking for. You're telling the universe basically that you're lying to them. <laughs> you know, you're saying, universe, I want the love of my life. I want, I want all, everything. I want a baby or I want a, a business or I want a home, but I'll just stay here and wait. Your person is very smart. I don't know if it's your person pushing that message there, um, but it's coming out. Your person is very smart. Okay. It's weird. I'm getting, it's not like they manipulated the situation at all. Not intentionally, but they know more then I'm hearing your person say, like, I'm, I know more than I even agreed to know. So they didn't ask to know all this, but they are very wise. Their intuition is speaking very loudly to them. And what the intuition is telling them is that you won't be here forever. Look at that. <sighs> Heavy. So we have the partnership and alliance in reverse. You won't be here forever. It's interesting, when I see this energy, yes, it is like a Leo energy, um, strength card energy, but what I'm hearing is your person saying they have to pick a side. So it's like they have to make a choice. Do they want to be this animalistic energy or this like lion or free, wild, or do they want to be wise? It's interesting, right? Because I said your person may have gray hair. This was actually the image I was getting. Someone bearded, longer hair, gray. And so it's really for me just talking about wisdom. Your person knows that they have to make a choice because you are going to be called elsewhere. Divine Feminines, if you feel like you get a calling elsewhere, I suggest you go for it. Not because I, I personally just don't believe that you can lose your person. Even if you may be separated for 20, 30 years, I truly believe you will be together again. And I mean, I would never want anyone to be separated for 20, 30 years. I'm just telling you how strong I believe that connections like this will always find their way together. One day, somehow, maybe we'll be in a, such a weird time that you won't really feel the need to be physically together. But I'm just saying you can have so much space between you and you will still find each other. Okay. So what else does your person want to say to you? So your person wants you to stand your ground. And the best way that this person is suggesting, I don't know if it's their higher self <laughs> suggesting this, because it's almost like this person is ratting themselves out. Like, you know what I mean? They know you deserve better and it's literally coming out here and yes, they love you and they do feel that they're putting as much of an effort as they can right now. You don't even know it. You may not even be speaking, but this person wants you to stand their ground. I believe um, it's either you've been patient long enough. I mean, that's what I'm getting. I just, I'm shocked. So the way you could stand your ground and show your person that you're not going to wait um, forever is by actually making movement, the decision, the choice to make a positive movement forward. I'm seeing the patient stick out. There may be something you've put on hold long enough. I'm also getting a message 
um, from my guidance that you've like there this is actually strong enough to survive now so i always have this thing where i think like let's just say i've had this little plant now for a year though it's shedding we have the new leaves coming but i feel like once a year kind of passed you can pretty much you can understand that it's going to be okay um for example i have another plant it's huge and I'm debating separating. I can't show you right now. It's so big. One day I'll show you. I'm debating separating some of the the stems and putting one of them in its own pot because it's just huge. It's taking over and I'm afraid to because, I mean, there's a risk. But I know if it lasts a year, it's good. It's generally good. So I have a message like that for you, that you've put in enough work here. You've put in... You've planted the seed. It's grown, whether or not you know it. You know, just like pregnancy, like after the first three, I'd say four months, but hey, three, you're kind of in the safe zone, right? Of course, anything could happen. We have natural disasters. But that's the message. So your person wants you to stand your ground, and the best way to do that is to really exercise um, that you know what you want and move forward with confidence. Very confident energy needed here. So that's attractive. And that was the message I got in the beginning. And because you're not meant to wait. It's not attractive to see someone putting their life on hold. Like, you know, there's a certain amount of time. There's a certain amount of compassion. But it can only go on for so long. Why are you attracted to your person, right? Think of that. Like I've said it before, people that are busy, people that have passion, people that have lives that don't revolve another, around another person are extremely attractive. And I mean that don't revolve around like one person they love, that revolve around their worldly passions. Those are extremely attractive people. Once I saw a professional runner in my lobby, um, he lives here in this building, and I just couldn't stop staring at him. Yes, he was cute or whatever, but it was more attractive that I always see him in his running gear. He has He's not paying attention to anyone else. His passion is literally running, and it's so attractive to see someone who just knows what they want. And it's not about, I'm sure he's a very passionate person at home with his wife or his girlfriend or whoever. Maybe he doesn't, right? But it's not about that. It's about actually having a passion for something that pleases you. You know what I'm saying, guys. You know what I'm saying. Because it's hard to put in words, right? Some things are hard to put into words. You just know it. You know the feeling you know, the energy, that's why people can tell if there's good people around them or not. It's just a knowing. Okay, so let's get some more messages if there is any. Whoa. <laughs> well, that came out very oddly. You didn't see this. So I do feel that this is saying this person is someone that needs to take this slow because it's still very un relatable to this person. I feel like this person's very proper. They go by the rules or they, they still have a very structured energy to them. It's very unrelatable for them to, first of all, express their love when they truly feel it like this, like they're not used to that. But also remember, this is an odd situation. So they're still like, see how this person is sitting so up straight, so stiff, they're still trying to feel everything out and how they're going to be able to adjust to this. And I do feel that we have, I don't know if I said that you may have been opposite. Oh yeah, I think I did say that. But I see you're very expressive and I see you're not just that way with this person. Like you are a very expressive person. For some of you, you can be like a touchy person. And it's interesting because I am not a touchy person. But when it comes to my person, yes. And there are other moments when I'm with females I'm comfortable with or even other males I'm comfortable with where, yeah, like 
I'll give them hugs or, you know, like we can touch each other's hands and speak and look in each other's eyes, like just being friends, right? So I do feel for some of you that I'm reading for, you are very touchy. Personally, I think you're very comfortable with yourself. You've come from a lot, so you relate and you're just comfortable. So uh, the other message I'm getting, though, from your person is like slow is best for this person. I know some of you probably don't want to hear that, but this is such a strong connection. It's very odd for this person. And they do like it when you show them that you want them because I'm just getting the vibe. I'm not hearing a message, but this person continually doubts that. Even if you don't know why they would doubt that, I don't know why this person would doubt that either because clearly I just, I get this energy of you like just like lushing over them, like you like so in love with them. So I'm not sure why this person would doubt that. Their own self-lack, right? Lack of lack of belief when it comes to love. Remember, this person got married for some other reason. It had nothing to do with love. And they pretty much knew it as they were saying the vows. Or if they didn't get married, as they were just saying, let's let's be together. Let's meet each other's family or let me meet your family or, you know, let's make this official. It was nothing to do with love. There was an innocent energy there and there was someone who couldn't speak the truth. We saw that huge ribbon around his neck sticking out here. So, yeah, I mean, it took a long time for a message to come out and I take that this is where it's ending. Um, but. This is talking about giving the relationship a chance. And at the bottom is the make the effort card. But I just still feel that this is saying to take it slow when it does come into play. Um, by the looks of it, your person is encouraging you to take positive movement forward, to go after your passions. Maybe this is how this person, I was just going to say how they'll feel safe. And we have, oh, it's safe for you to love and the true love energy engagement here, but we're just going to take the two out that came out. Um, so it's like once you're not waiting is what I get, your person is going to feel more safe and comfortable because, you know, they're going to know you're not talking crap to them. I don't know. There's something here. This woman has put herself on the horse. She's about to get going. And he's like, wait, Cupid's here too. You know, like, just wait a second. Can we talk? Can we just engage for a second? We Can we speak? It's special, guys. I think it's special. So I'm going to leave it there. I actually highly recommend you checking out a video I recorded yesterday and it's going to be posted and it has to do with um, the masculine revealing himself. It may be related to this and it has to do with May. May energy is coming up and the planetary energies um, and it looks like there could be some revelations and we're not in May yet. So now you can get moving forward and see what happens, you know, but you have to believe in it and commit to it. If you're committing to following your passion, well, then the universe will bring you more to be passionate about. I really appreciate you all. I really would love if you could leave a comment, but this is a bedtime story, so I might be sleeping because it will really help push my videos out and yeah. It would help. Okay, guys. So bye for now. Um, if you want to join Patreon, I would love to see you there.